All right, opening hand is a little iffy. Uh, I think it's just barely keepable. We do have an abundant growth for red mana. Our only creature is a s viper, but we're going to keep this. It's not super amazing. Hopefully we don't see a swamp hit the ground because that means removal. And that's exactly what we see. So that's unfortunate. Um, I guess we'll lead off with the rugged highlands. That way we'll have two mana next turn. So we'll play the highlands. Pass the turn. Hopefully our opponent's not just solid mono black control, because that'd be really hard for us to defeat. He plays the second swamp. It's kind of scary. Oh my gosh, we're playing against um, land destruction. That sucks. <laughs> oh wait, maybe it's not. Hmm. Not sure. We will find out, though. Uh, I think we're going to play the Forest. And then end of turn Viper. And then on our turn, ping down the um, the Thorn. There's a Spectre, so I have to discard a card. I think I might discard a land. I have... I don't really, yeah, let's see, next turn I'm going to play, a, yeah, let's get rid of, uh, I guess a forest here. So, I could play the viper and trade with the, with, with the assassin here, but I don't think I want to do that. I think I just want to make the viper and death ping it. He gets to draw a card, play the Viper, take our turn. All right, I think I want to go Abundant Growth into an Enchantment, but I don't really want to Abundant Growth on my Rugged Highlands. I want to Abundant Growth, I suppose, on uh, on a Forest here. Let's do it like that. So let's do this, Abundant Growth this Forest, draw. Abundant growth. All right, well, let's throw on the fire whip here. <clears throat> Pass the turn. I guess there is an argument for killing it on my turn while he's tapped out because of, like, Undying Evil and stuff like that. But I think we'll be alright. He attacks in with just the Spectre. Um, so, he probably has a removal spell. I think I want to Viper Ping the Assassin and then Fire Whip Sack to kill the Spectre. I'm gonna let him deal the two damage here, though. Because I want to, I want to see a removal spell here. Yeah, there's the removal spell. So in response, let's kill this thing and we'll kill that thing. So that kind of sucks that we lose our creature. If we weren't playing against black, I think we would have been okay there. He probably has a 3-drop here. Brickscreen Rager or something. Mind Wrench. Well, we're discarding a land. And I suppose Power of Fire. We need our Abundant Growth to draw a creature. And another Abundant Growth. Well, I guess we'll Abundant Growth this forest. Not a creature. Alright, well, I guess we'll abundant gross, uh, I guess this thing doesn't really matter. Oops. Green. There we go. I don't really want to stack up on one land because he may be playing, um, land destruction. Can't play my my uh, Viper, unfortunately. So we'll go ahead and pass. 
Hopefully he does not play another Mind Wrench. He probably has plenty of removal though, and it really sucks he gets to draw off that Monarch every turn. This is probably one of our worst matchups. Mono Black Control. There's the land destruction we were concerned about. Alright, well, I guess we're just going to play the Viper at instant speed here. I'm kind of hoping he doesn't have more land destruction. There's a Throne of the Black Rose. And he passes turn. Sweet. Green, green, Viper. Uh, okay. I think I want to use this turn to use um, Fire Whip, though. Green, red, Fire Whip. Um. Yep. And now I'm going to wait again to to uh, kill. The Monarch is whenever a creature deals combat damage, right? Deals combat damage, yeah. And this, uh, the death ping, if I pinged his face, that's not combat damage, so I would not gain Monarch, I don't think. Ah, jeez. Yeah, I probably should have played the Iguana. Well, I guess we... Each player sacrifice... Well, I guess since he has to sacrifice his creature, I'm just going to ping him for two. There's a Spectre. What are we going to discard? I think the Power of Fire. Next turn I can play the Iguana and the Longbow. Man, I hate that he's drawing so many cards. Yeah, I think I just want to play the Iguana and the, the Longbow. Play the longbow. He may have a disfigure here at the end of turn. Nope. Yep, there's the guest verdict. Gets in for two. Hopefully he doesn't make us discard this commune with the gods. Uh, he passed the turn with three cards in his hand. He just has a handful of removal. Use Commune with the Gods, see what we can find here. Archer, Archer, Viper. Viper's a lot worse when he knows we have it. I think I'd rather have the Reach. Alright, pass the turn. So now's a Wrench Mine, probably. Liliana's Spectre. I think we're just going to get rid of uh, Commune with the Gods here. Because Commune with the Gods, we'd most likely just look for a creature, so might as well just get rid of it and keep our creature. Green, green, elf. Pass the turn. It may die here. He has to have a handful of removal, though, because he... Hasn't been playing land. He hasn't been playing, well, many creatures. So that really sucks. Funeral charm. I haven't seen that in a long time. He dresses me. Luckily that whiffs. He gets in for four. Oh, 
Well, I guess we'll just play the creature he knows we have. Yep. There's a rancid earth. Well, that's interesting. He killed his creatures. He should have attacked first, I think. But now I have no land. Okay. Now we may see a mind wrench. Thorn, okay. And a mine wrench, yep. That's we we were expecting to see that. The monarch has definitely done a lot of work for this guy. For sure. But yeah, um Mono Black is one of our top three worst matchups. Uh Hexproof, Burn, and Mono Black Control is our three worst matchups. Hexproof, obviously, because we we can't um, kill their creatures. Mono black control because they have so much removal, and burn just because they're just so fast. All right, well we'll play the evolving wilds and pass the turn here. He's going to hit me for three. We're on a two-turn clock. We only have one more turn left after this. So yeah, guys, he's got it. I'm going to go ahead and concede here. There's no need in continuing on with this. Okay, so we definitely want Vines of Asswood. Um, we don't really need Stone Rain or Nature's Claim. Don't really need Pulse Marasa either. That's not what we're trying to do here, I don't think. Pulse Marasa is nice to get around his removal spells, though. But I think Vines of Asswood is... A better plan for that. So we need to drop four creatures. I think I'm going to drop these guys because if he's going to be killing my creatures, that's a less of a chance for me to have a green permanent. I kind of feel like this is the, probably the best we can go with. Let's just run it back like that. Yeah, we do get to go first. One land. We have plenty of green spells. We really need another land, though. Can we keep this? Probably not. I think we can do better. Hmm. It's pretty close. But I'm not going to chance it with just one land. We got a mulligan that. A land. We have a scry. Opponent kept. We'll keep here. I think we can scry it. Uh, scry to it to the bottom. Play the Rugged Highlands. Pass the turn. Oh man, we really need a land here. Turn one duress? Nope. Ritual, probably a Rancid Earth coming my way. Nope. Spectre. What are we going to discard? A Vines? Mm, it's much worse when he knows we have it though. Vines has to be our worst card here, though. We need the Abundant Growth to draw land. We need our creatures. Has to be a Vines here. It sucks that um, we're showing him that we have it, but it is what it is. We'll play the Abundant Growth here. Draw a card. Hopefully a land. Come on, give us a land. Oh, boy. Here's another Dark Ritual. And a Thorn of the Black Rose. Dark Ritual. Yep, he gets in for two. Well, we get a land. I think I want to save... I, w I want to cast my Viper end of turn, I believe. 
Hopefully he tapped his land. Come on, tap the land. He's going to get in for three? Or just two? Just two. Okay. Um, I really want him to tap his uh, swamps. Uh, I'm not surprised he didn't. Nice. Okay, so here I can hold up vines and equip Power of Fire. So he didn't kill my creature on his instep, probably because he's going to try and kill it in response to a Power of Fire. Hmm. Yeah, let's cast Power of Fire, and then I'll vines in response to, um, to a removal spell. That's his plan, I'm sure. Yep. So, let's go with vines. He may use two removal spells here, which I won't be too tore up about. Um, but, man, I hate him having that Monarch. Alright, pass the turn. Thorn of the Black Rose is so powerful. It can single-handedly just take a game. Alright, he gets in for three. Has a hand full of removal spells. Exhibit A. <laughs> Echoing truth. Well, he is going up to four cards. I have a commune with the gods. And I now I no longer have it. All right. <laughs> oh, jeez. He. I'm just gonna play this because he has discard spells. I mean, maybe there's an argument to keep it for soaking a duress, or um, actually, I probably should have kept it to soak a, a discard spell, but any card I draw, I'm most likely going to play anyway. There is a land destruction spell. I... I think it's over, you guys. We just can't get past the infinite removal spells plus the monarch. It's just not something we can surpass. Well, I guess we'll get the archer. He's got reach. But, uh... We're taking five here. Yep. And a Geth's verdict. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry it wasn't very competitive. Like I said, Mono Black Control is our, one of our top three worst matchups. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching, though. Have a great day.